Hey guys, it's Mihal here and today I have a very special video for you guys and girls as it's not going to be a usual uni vlog but instead I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this dumbbell and barbell set that I've bought specifically for the UK lockdown that's going to be in effect until the 2nd of December and I managed to pick it up for just £43 on eBay. Please note that this same dumbbell and barbell set is now sold out and they did actually raise the price to £63 when I checked the uh, listing so I got lucky for £43 it was the cheapest dumbbell and barbell set available at the time and possibly in the world and it does look like one of those ones that you do just get straight from a Chinese warehouse and a lot of different uh, companies will just sell it in uh, bulk but I've still got a good feeling about this because at the end of the day I chose not to go for the ones with where you have to fill in water because those just look gimmicky, flimsy and not really it. Whereas this one promises to have, I believe it was iron or steel, but point is it promised good quality build and without further ado we are going to get into it. So I've got a pair of scissors with me to open it. This box was really heavy like I carried it from the house into the outhouse and I just had to put it down, 20 kilograms in a box is kind of heavy for me uh, at this stage and then I had to literally kick it about here because I didn't want to carry it again but without further ado I'm just going to put some a scissor through the box it's nicely packaged from the outside it's almost like bamboo or something like that which does suggest that it came from abroad originally otherwise it would have just been in a normal box which it is underneath and as I open the box up, you can see there is a normal brown box, which obviously suggests that yes, it was packaged um, normally, but then this extra bit on top was put for probably international transportation. Because I very much doubt this was manufactured in the UK, and if it was, then I apologise. But like I said, I've literally seen the same looking dumbbell and barbell set from multiple sellers named with different brands and stuff and you kind of catch the drift it's almost like if you go onto amazon and you look for a lightning cable they might all be the same just have a different logo on it or sometimes no logo at all so now that i've got this bit open you can see it's quite well packaged if i tilt this i hope you can see it there is another box here and this has got cell tape on it so I'm now going to get that out of the way once I get a bit more of the, out, the packaging out of the way. There we go. And just put a scissor through the cell tape as well. So instantly I can see everything in its full glory. Just need to cut a bit more apparently. Right, so I've opened a box and I can instantly see some plates. These are 1.25 kilogram plates and 1.5 kilogram plate, so they do vary in size and weight. Uh, I've got a bar here as well, as well as some uh, knob thingies that you put at the end to secure the plates. So here you see, we got this is a 1.5 kilogram plate in plastic packaging, so it's all good. And let me just open this up. So I'm going to put a scissor through. And just get this plate out. Now, the plate itself, plastic. So it is sturdy, but it's made out of plastic. So no metal plates, but what would you expect for 43 pounds? After all, you gotta make the most out of a worst situation. And my worst situation in the last lockdown was using resistance tubes. So you can imagine how much of an upgrade this is. So putting one of the plates to the side, we get this thing, which I believe is the extender to make it into a barbell. If you can see that, it's red and black. And underneath, apparently it is iron or steel. I can't remember which one, but it is metal underneath, apparently. I believe the cover was put on for grip purposes, which is quite nice. It's like a foam grip, so I can imagine, obviously, when it's extended, like, it feels quite nice to grip onto, but at the same time, it also feels like it could easily tear, 
because if I bring this forward, then you can see it might have been damaged slightly in transit, but there's already signs that this is going to tear, which isn't ideal, but if it is metal underneath, this is no problem at all. So, what else do you get in the box other than the plates and the extender? In fact, you get this, this is one of the bars for the barbell, and I'm gonna quickly show you a difference. So the extender has foam, and then the actual uh, dumbbell bar is, isn't foam, it's like plastic basically. Holding onto it, feels quite nice to grip onto, so it's all good. And like I said, it's 43 pounds, so you really can't complain. Because if you were looking to pick up one of these from a reptile brand such as York Fitness, uh, etc., you'd be looking at a lot more money. So, then we have another one of these. So, I'm a bit disappointed that whilst everything came in plastic packaging, the dumbbell bars didn't, and nor did the clips that go onto the end of the uh, dumbbell. So, what exactly do you get inside of the box? You get four of these uh, clip things that go at the end of the dumbbell or barbell, depending on what you prefer. Two dumbbell uh, bars, which obviously using the extender, which is also included, you can make into a barbell by twisting this. I'll show you in a bit. And then you get a variety of plates ranging in size. So here I can see there are two kilogram plates, 1.5 kilogram plates, and 1.25 kilogram plates. And I don't believe there's anything smaller than 1.25 kilograms. And no, there isn't. But I'm gonna put a description of the listing on the screen now anyways, so you can just double check what should be included. But so far, it looks like everything has come nicely and it's time to get all of this out of the plastic wrapping and onto the barbells or the dumbbells and see how they fare. So it actually seems like putting on the plate and the clip is quite simple. Albeit, it might take some time between sets because you have to twist this lock until it's right at the bottom, but luckily you can spin it like that and then tighten it at the bottom, and here you go, that's one side done. So I'm just gonna find another 1.5 kilogram plate that I can put on, and I do have one right next to me, thankfully. So I'm gonna show you again. Literally, just grab your plate, after I get out the plastic. You can literally drop it like this, done, and then find another clip, Literally spin it, you can just do it like that, you don't have to manually spin it all the time. And then once it gets to the bottom, just make sure it's firm enough. And now we have a, I believe it will be roughly four kilogram dumbbell. So, I'm gonna move the camera angle up for you guys so you can see properly. And here we have one of the dumbbells. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty decent, like I said. 43 pounds for this. I'm actually liking this so far. It just depends on whether it holds up or not. Uh, like I said, there are issues with the foam on the extender already kind of becoming damaged. So, shoulders back, nice and retracted, chest up, up, squeeze, down, squeeze, down, and it mimics basically a normal barb, uh, dumbbell rather, from the side. You can see, looks pretty cool. Up, squeeze, big contraction, down, up, and down. Doing that, and obviously when you want to your peak contraction, you're gonna be gripping onto the middle part quite a lot, and quite firmly. And how does it feel? Honestly, it feels like one for, like a normal Jordan Fitness uh, uh, dumbbell. If you've ever used Jordan Fitness, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But the point is, the fact that it almost feels like normal gym quality gear is great. Because for home workout setup, 43 pounds is amazing. And although it is sold out on eBay, I will be leaving a link in the description below to an Amazon alternative that's basically the same, it's just going to be a different seller. Basically, as I was unboxing all of the plates, to see if I can put 20 kilograms onto one bar. Um, I noticed that some of the plates have a bit of oil on them or something because you can see 
it's a bit shiny in areas and I think there might be leakage from here I don't know what this is but it doesn't smell nice you know when you start school and there's like this fishy kind of oil smell in your turn uh, brand new A4 pad yeah it kind of smells like that the unpleasant smell so I do have some uh, Febreze and I'm gonna put it on just spray it onto the plates and then wipe it down with a tissue because I can't stand that smell disgusting that's uh I'd say number two on the cons. So number one was obviously the uh, foam tearing on the barbell extender. And then number two, the smell and the oily feeling because my fingers are a bit oily now. I don't know why. It's also worth noting that as I was taking this out, even the outside, let's see if you can see. You might be able to see on the fingertips, especially this one, middle finger, a bit oily. Literally just from touching the outside let alone the inside so I have no idea what this is but it's not good so I'm just going to show you one of the sides the most it looks like you could put on one side is six kilograms so that's three two kilogram plates and the spin lock is just about on there so if you're trying to put the most amount of weight on the uh, dumbbell I would recommend you spin this really tight so that there's no risk of it falling off now another con that I found just whilst put, putting this dumbbell together. So right now in plates, this is eight kilograms. I think the bar might be one. So nine kilogram dumbbell. A, pro, a con that I found is that whilst I was putting the plates on, if you literally twist the plate, this becomes loose. Literally, uh, if the plate moves, this becomes loose, you're screwed. You need to literally screw it back on quickly before the plates fall. And I know for most people in a home environment, you can't drop weights just like that, otherwise it will break your floor. And I'm in that situation where if I drop a plate, it will probably break my wooden floor. So, I've got to be really careful with this already, which is a bit of a shame. But how does the dumbbell actually do? This is how it looks. Looks like a pretty standard dumbbell. And, like I said, chest up, shoulders back, up, squeeze, down, up this is a bit on the heavy side for some reason i usually do a two but when you do it with just the one it feels a bit heavy i haven't curled in quite a while to be honest but you can see it works and then um let's just say for shoulder press you can't see it but it works my only worry is that if you were doing shoulder press and this came loose you'd be screwed especially if it came screw loose on the bottom side so just try not to move these weights about they don't t move about when they're firm enough but if you manually accidentally just do that then you can already see that it's not good and this has become loose so last but not least you might be wondering how does it do as a barbell you get the barbell extender you get the barbell for the uh, dumbbell and then you literally just twist it like this quite a long process but once you get there you just do the same with the other side inside the box there is no instruction manual whatsoever there is no sign of branding on my ebay listing it said something like xeno fitness there is no xeno branding at all so it suggests that literally as i was saying earlier probably uh, someone has a warehouse in china and then there's different sellers that are set a wholesaling essentially and selling in bulk so wherever you do get it from it might differ slightly in like color but the actual product itself will be the same and so there will be a link in the description where you can purchase it on amazon so here we are this is what the barbell looks like it's quite a short barbell as you can see the plates literally only just about come uh just a bit wider than shoulder width but it's good it looks good and we're just going to curl once again shoulders back chest up squeeze down squeeze down squeeze down that didn't feel heavy because obviously it's a barbell but in terms of how it feels in general again because you are using the dumbbells, 
the grip is the same, you hold onto here, and it's the same on this side, everything's the same. Literally the only difference is that there's an extender in the middle. And from the side, I'll show you as well. You can see the plates aren't moving about or anything, which is good because that was my concern earlier because if plates do move, this spin lock will also become loose, which you don't want to happen. Otherwise, say goodbye to your floor. So overall, what do I think of this dumbbell and barbell set, which could possibly be the cheapest 20 kilogram dumbbell and barbell set in the world? I think it's great money for value. As a barbell and dumbbell in general, it's a bit crap. But for what you're paying, it's actually great value. You can definitely get a good workout in with this set at home. The only issue is if you want to switch between a dumbbell and a barbell, it will take you some time. So make sure you plan your workouts accordingly if you do purchase this. Once again, there will be a link in the description. This video isn't sponsored. I, that's why I'm giving you my honest opinion. That's why things like the plates smelling like fish, not good. Things like the spin lock becoming loose if the plates move, not good. But in terms of how it feels to lift, what you get, the build quality, all great. Because like I said, the plates themselves, they feel quite solid, solid plastic, and they're not water weights like some of the things I've seen. So it could be worse. But if you did enjoy the video guys and girls, then I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment below what you thought and any other videos you'd like to see from me and to click the subscribe button if you're new here and to click the bell to turn all post notifications on so that you don't miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. Make sure to follow me on my social handles, that's at Mahel Khan on Instagram, TikTok and Snapchat, at Mahel X on Twitter and official Mahel Khan on Facebook. And once again, I've been Mihail, bringing you what could possibly be the cheapest dumbbell and barbell set in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.